Here we're going to look at some geometry and some complex loci. Let's take this question. Suppose we want to find the points of intersection of mod z minus 2 minus 3i equals 2 and y equals x plus 1. Well, we could do this entirely algebraically. But I think it's usually worthwhile looking at a diagram and seeing if something nice and easy occurs to us. With the first one, we need to rewrite that as mod z minus 2 plus 3i equals 2. Now that gives us a circle, center 2, 3, radius 2. And the other one is a nice easy straight line, y-intercept 1, gradient 1. Well, here it is. And we want to find the two points A and B. Center of the circle at 2, 3. Radius is 2, so it touches the imaginary axis. And I can write that we have a radius of 2. You'll notice that the line y equals x plus 1 goes through 1 and has gradient 1. So when you go across 2, you go up 2. Therefore, the line y equals x plus 1 has to pass through the center of the circle. Well, now let's see how we can look at this to get points A and B. Can you think of some nice, easy geometry? If we look at the two triangles I've drawn, because we have the line y equals x at 45 degrees, the angle at the bottom here is 45, 90, 45, 45, 90, 45, I've got isosceles right-angled triangles. Hypotenuse 2, and therefore each side is going to be root 2. Well, if that's the case, all we have to do is look at that, and we will notice that the coordinates of A, it's at an x-coordinate of 2 plus root 2, and a y-coordinate of 3 plus root 2. So A is 2 plus root 2, and Y is 3 plus root 2. And B, it's not difficult to see, we're starting from 2, we come back root 2, and starting from 3, we come down root 2. So there are the coordinates of A and B. I think easier than trying to do an algebraic solution. My second question is, how can we find the maximum and minimum distances from the point D, 0, 1, to mod z minus 2 minus 3i is equal to 2? Well, looking at the diagram, the answer should be pretty obvious. The smallest distance from D to the circle must be the distance DB, and the maximum distance must be the distance DA. So if we know the distance DC, we can easily work out DA. And also if we know the distance DC, we can easily subtract 2 to work out the distance DB. So all we have to do here is to find the distance CD. So DC squared is x coordinate if you're fussy about it you can write 2 minus 0 squared or just 2 squared and the y coordinates 3 minus 1 squared that is just 8 and therefore dc is equal to 2 root 2. Therefore the minimum distance is db which is 2 root 2 minus 2, and the maximum distance is dA, 
which is 2 root 2 plus 2. When you see a little question or part of a question coming at the end, which goes to points of intersection or various other things, it's always worth drawing a picture. And very often there will be a nice, simple year eight, year nine solution to the problem.